Come in, come in, my child. We mustn't lurk in doorways. It's rude. Hello all my exciting Keefs, my name is Patrick and welcome to Fun With First Names, where each week we look into the meaning, origin and some extra fun facts behind one specific first name. And this week we're looking to the first name of Ursula. Though before we begin, I just want to remind you, we are trying to hit the goal of 1,500 followers on Instagram. Instagram is my favorite social media. I love just putting silly pictures from my life and my just day to day activities up on there. So if you want to see more about me and less about me talking about names, because I don't know, you might want to for some reason. I, I'm, I'm not just names. That's the place to go see it. I put all kinds of sort of silly pictures on there. Uh, name explain YT, there'll be a link down below. I think we're on about 1,300 followers at the moment. We'll get there, we'll get there. But of course, the best way to support Name Explain is through Patreon. I want to say a huge thank to everyone who's become a patron in the most recent week. This includes Daniel Saffler, Alexander Davis, Jed Didolf, Matt for Life, Deirdre Jones, and Aaliyah Papenrock. Thank you guys so much for supporting Name Explain on Patreon. You're helping in the best way. Huge apologies if I mispronounced your name and huge apologies if I miss you, but you guys make Name Explain possible. Uh, Patreon.com slash Name Explain, link down below. Go join if you can and if you want to. Cool? Cool. Anyway, on with today's name of Ursula, and Ursula is a name of a Latin origin, and I personally think Ursula has one of the best name meanings I've come across so far in this adventure with first names. Like, Ursula's meaning is, mm, really good stuff. Is that a sound? That's a sound now, apparently. If you're into constellations, you might already have a good idea as to what this name relates to. Or if you're into Latin and have any understanding of sort of basic Latin or know some Latin word, you might have a good idea as well. What has this name got to do with stars? Well, if you know your constellations, you know there are two constellations. Well, there's more than two, obviously, but two in this case. There's one called Ursa Major and one called Ursa Minor. These names translate from Latin into English to mean greater bear and lesser bear, respectively. So if the Latin word for bear is Ursa, that means the name Ursula relates to this Latin word of Ursa and in turn relates to bears. See, I told you this name is called bears. like. Have you seen bears? Bears are the most badass animal out there. They just stand there with their mouth open and just salmon fly into it. That's what I want. I just want to stand there with my mouth open and food flies into it. Like, that's incredible. I mean, they do other things as well, but that's mainly what I'm a big fan of them about. Bears, bears, bears are cool. Though some sources say that Ursa is a bit more than just the Latin word for bear. Some sources like to point out that Ursa means she bear in Latin and that Ursin means male bear in Latin. However, there are some sources that say Ursa just means bear in general, regardless of gender. In regards to the name Ursula, however, most sources like to point out that Ursa means she bear and this makes sense because Ursula is traditionally a feminine name, so you'd want it to mean she bear in this case. The name Ursula doesn't simply just mean she bear, however, there's a little bit more to it, as Ursula is believed to be a diminution of Ursa. I, I think diminution is the word for it, I've never quite known, but I'm calling it a diminution. The correct word is diminutive, but we'll talk about that right now. A diminutive, as they are properly known as, is when we add to a word to make it seem shorter and cuter and just more adorable. They're really interesting things. What I find strange about them is despite the fact that they're supposed to insinuate smallness and cuteness, they tend to make words longer and names longer. Like how Tim, and then we have Timmy, which is the diminutive of Tim. I mean, I know Tim's already shortening of Timothy, but Timmy is longer than Tim, but Timmy sounds a bit more small and cute. Strange, isn't it? You think the smaller word would be the cuter version, but no, the longer version is. Words, words, words are weird. And another fab example is of Charles and Charlie. So Charles and Charlie actually have the same amount of letters in them and Charlie has more syllables. But Charlie is a diminutive of Charles despite being and sounding longer. Strange, isn't it? So Ursula is believed to be the diminutive of Ursa, despite the fact that Ursula is longer than Ursa. This means that when we are calling someone Ursula, they're not only being referred to as a she-bear, they're being referred to as a little she-bear. And that is exactly what the name Ursula is believed to mean, little she-bear. How, how cute and cool and dangerous is that? I have never come across a name that's equal parts cute and equal parts badass. Baby bears are like the cutest little things in the world, but they're still pretty dangerous and could still probably do a lot of damage to you. I am sure you understand now why I think Ursula has one of the best name meanings out there. Little she-bear, just, just so cute. If I have a daughter, maybe I do have a daughter, you don't know me. Maybe, maybe she's already called Ursula, or maybe she will be called Ursula. My life is a mystery. 
As mentioned at the start, this is a Latin name, so you think it'll be popular in Romance language speaking countries like Spain, Italy, and France, and Portugal, and whatnot. However, Ursula has found itself more at home in Northern Europe. The kind of countries where you'd most likely find Ursula are the likes of Germany, Sweden, Denmark, just sort of Scandi in general. I know Germany's not Scandi, but it's just more Northern Europe. Just It's odd because when I think of this name, I do think more those sorts of countries, even like Russia or so, but I don't know. I don't know it's Felicity in Russia, but it's actually a Latin name. So how did it end up being so popular in Northern Europe as opposed to its sort of native lands of Southern Romance speaking Europe? I imagine this is because of Saint Ursula. Now, Saint Ursula was a wild character. I won't go into too much detail about her, but go follow her. She's she seemed pretty cool. She had she had a big following, I will say. Like just that's all I've put to that. Uh, she was martyred and killed in Cologne in Germany. Cologne, Cologne, Cologne. Don't know how to say it. I've been there though. Really nice city. I had a really good kebab there once. <laughs> but yeah, she was a uh, martyr there, so she's quite a big deal in Germany. So the name probably spread in uh, Germany and into the rest of Northern Europe because of her, because of her importance there. Cologne, go visit Cologne if you can. Don't, if there's restrictions, but go check it out. There'll be a link down below. What am I pointing? Cologne isn't down there. Cologne's up there, I think. Carry on. The ultimate question, however, is why would someone be named after bears? And for that, I don't have an answer for you. I guess bears are just pretty cool animals and parents wanted their daughters to be named after the bears because they were fierce and strong like bears and that's how we got the name Ursula, which is cool with me. I'm just happy we have this name, just happy to be here. Though despite how much I love the name Ursula and what a badass meaning it has, it seems the rest of the world doesn't agree with me as Ursula isn't the most popular name at the moment, at least in the English speaking world. It's not in the top 1000 names in the USA or in the UK. The last time it was even in the top 1000 in the USA was in 1983, where it was the 989th most popular name. Since then, it hasn't appeared, which is sad, but maybe it'll come back. Maybe this video will spark a whole new generation of Ursulas into existence. I can dream. Famous Ursulas include the likes of Ursula von der Leyen. I hope I'm saying that right. She is German, as I said, Ursula is very popular in Germany. She's the current president of the EU, so quite a big deal. There's also a Swedish actress, I think she's Swedish, Ursula Andress, and she is most known as a Bond girl. What Bond film she was in? Can't remember. My dad would be really disappointed with me right now because he's a big, big Bond fan. But can't quite remember, but. She was one of those classic Bond girls, good for her. And perhaps the most well-known Ursula in the world of fiction anyway is Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Why she's called Ursula, I don't know. Like, she's not a bear, she's like an octopi lady. So why she's called Ursula? Better fits well though. I believe she'd be playing Miss Melissa McCarthy in the new one. That's cool, looking forward to that. It's got Hamilton in it. No, he's writing songs for it. It's got Jefferson in it. He's playing the little crab. I think we've talked about this in the Sebastian video as well. You. I'm excited, basically. And in regards to a video game Ursula, I'm kind of cheating because Ursula from The Little Mermaid is also one of the bosses in Kingdom Hearts, the first Kingdom Hearts, I believe, so she's also our video game Ursula today. I know it's kind of cheating, but I'm tired. Anyway, that's just about everything you guys need to know about the name Ursula, but what are your thoughts on this name? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Do you know anyone with the name Ursula? I hope you do, and let me know if you're called Ursula down below. Let me know all about it in the comments down below. Oh, went a bit off track with that one, but pull it back. And I just want to share some of the thoughts you guys had on last week's name of Theodore, which, which is actually a bear related name unto itself because of the whole Theodore Roosevelt Teddy story. I've talked about it a lot somewhere in the channel, go check it out, but yeah, uh, Teddy Bears named after Theodore Roosevelt. So Theodore and Ursula kind of intertwined thanks to bears because bears are awesome as we've, as, well, as we've established in this video. Aaron O'Donoghue said, if you break them into syllables, then Theodore is Dorothy backwards, so it's easy to see. That is so much easier to see. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, um, Aaron. That's, that's a great way to break it down and show just how related those two names are when we do break it into those three syllables. Thank you very much. Stein Goslad Strillinghag, apologies for our pronunciation there, said, since gay men are friends of Dorothy, maybe lesbians could be friends of Theodore. That's a really nifty idea. I'm a big fan of that. Let's. Let's try and get that going. That'd be that's cool. Big fan of that one. Um, why uh, gay people are called friends of Dorothy? I'm not too sure. I believe it relates to Judy Garland. I feel I feel she's quite a big LGBTQ plus icon. I'm not sure exactly why. I might be making that up. If someone more knowledgeable on that information could fill me in down in the comments, 
that'd be great. As much as I love teaching you guys things, I love it when you guys teach me things as well. And Syria Jenkins said, beside Teddy Long being a Theodore, we also have Ted DiBiase and Ted DiBiase Jr. along with Tyson Kidd whose real name is TJ or Theodore James. You know, wrestling is blessed with so many Theodores. I had so many Theodores or Teds to choose from. Uh, when it came to wrestling. I was kind of wishing I was talking about wrestlers at the end of these videos, but no, I went with uh, Theodore Long, Teddy Long, because I think he's my favorite of them. He's definitely of my generation. I, I wasn't really watching when the original Ted DiBiase was about, and I wasn't really watching when um, Ted DiBiase Jr. or uh, TJ Wilson, TJ Kidd, I can't remember his name, Tyson Kidd was about. But yes, Theodore Long's great. All his other Tysons are great. Holla holla. Next week, we'll be looking to a name starting with the letter V, and what name that will be exactly will be chosen on a poll exclusively for my patrons to vote in. So if you enjoy the channel, want to help support, and have a say in what names get explained, then please, please, please do consider donating on Patreon. In fact, don't consider donating, just, just go look, just go check out the Patreon. There's all kinds of fun stuff on there. Patreon.com slash name explained, link down below, where Cologne is as well, apparently. You'll find them all down there. You'll find Cologne down there. You'll find Patreon down there. You'll find Instagram down there. It's all it's magical down there. And, uh, seriously, if someone has a video suggesting clone below this video, please tell me and make a screenshot and send it to me somewhere. That would be really cool. Thank you. But it's all there. Go check it out if you want to and if you can. But anyway, that's just about enough for myself. Before I go, however, don't forget to go follow me on Instagram, where I'm Name Explain YT, and don't forget to go join the Facebook group, Friends of Name Explain. Okay, guys, take care.